exhibition area and our exhibition booths it's time to engagement page configuration so the engagement zone is one of the most interesting and fun element that you can play with and i mean that quite literally because um, you have a bunch of games that you can use as your engagement points here uh, before we go on and do that you want to just go back to your event lobby hotspots you'll see that we already made a setting for the engagement zone um, but this is something that you would want to delete um, by the time um, that um, you know you would be using plateau um, you only get the option to add help desk from your event lobby because that is the only integration that you need at the event lobby which is your help desk so engagement zone is not going to be an here so this is going to be removed um, so we just want to go ahead and make sure that uh, the engagement hotspot from here has been removed now we're going to add that from the engagement zone page configuration so just click on engagement zone configurations and click on this button here that adds your uh, engagement configuration zone form uh, and you just have to name it so we're going to call it engagement zone background image just go ahead and pick already template that we're also going to be sharing with you um, you can again customize that as per your requirement now we're going to pick a hotspot color which i want to be orange so i'm just going to paste that here the tooltip text is going to say click for engagement zone and now we're going to put in our coordinates so i've got my lobby page opened up on um, my paint window here i've zoomed it out to get a better coordinate and i want my engagement zone um, to be displayed here um, so i'm going to go ahead and pick up that coordinate that is uh, 529 and 688 um, so we're going to go ahead and enter that value here And we're going to use our standard uh, with the height ratio for the hotspot. And we're just going to go ahead and save that. That's as simple it is uh, to configure an engagement zone on your virtual event page. Um, so now that we refresh it, um, this is the hotspot that we just configured. And if I click on that, it should lead me to my background template. Uh, this is your engagement zone. Uh, and all of these activities that you're seeing here are actually games that we are now going to create. Um, so let's get started. This is the most uh, fun plot of uh, creating a virtual event. So we're going to go ahead and add those hotspots. Uh, now the first hotspot that we'll be adding, uh, now since our engagement zone is uh, you know, white, we can go ahead and use the same color that we've been using for our hotspots. Um, if you want you can change them um, so I'm going to go ahead and to maintain the uniformity we're going to use the same shade um, this is going to say um, activity 1 and we're going to go ahead and select um, you know, these multiple options that we have right here um, so let's start with tic-tac-toe now I want to position tic-tac-toe the particular window that you have uh, for your tic-tac-toe option uh, now we're going to go ahead and do that quickly uh, just open this file on paint and just go open it. Paint. Get coordinates for tic-tac-toe so now i want my hotspot to appear here so i'm just going to click on this page here and I'm going to copy the coordinates that is 8, 4, 8 and 6, 5, 7. So I'm just going to draw a line here, sorry, um, so that we can get all of them on the same level. We should do it. Now we'll pick up the coordinates and there you go. So your first coordinate is 8, 3, 7 and 6, 7, 7. So 8, 7 and 677 
on your standard width and height for your hotspot. And that's it. That's how easy it is to add a game onto your platform. Um, just a few clicks here uh, and you'll actually be able to play that game now. So when I click on tic-tac-toe, it starts a new game as um, X or 0. So you can just you know, choose what you want your, um, you know. So you play with the system here. Uh, and well, it's a draw in this case. Nobody wins. Uh, you can, you know, try various combinations here. Uh, the options are, um, you know, computer wins. So this is how you play, um, how you add different games onto your page. So we're going to go ahead all of these other hotspots quickly um, so let's do that now I'm going to be selecting help center so I'll go ahead and enable that there um, I'll pick my shade which is P12 oh, we don't have that here already I think so I'm just going to copy that again sorry I just want to pick up that value yeah the tooltip text um, that says click now oh, that says activity 2 you can call this um, you can name this after the game you can say that uh, you know, this is help Santa or you could just choose this format that I'm using here so this becomes activity 2 actually I'm just going to be using help Santa as the name because I don't think that we are following that sequence here so I'm going to name this as Help Santa now. And I'm going to open my page here. Uh, and this is the coordinate that I want to pick. So I'm going to just move my cursor there. And that should give me that coordinate. That is 1097 and 677. So enter that here. Put in our standard value. Save and add another. So we move on to add another one of our games here that you have available on the Plato framework. Um, so these are pre 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 loaded resources that you can have on your page. So let's pick up the coordinates for rock, paper, and scissors, which is the first slot here. Um, so again, I would want to hotspots um, are on the same level. So I'm just going to randomly place my cursor here and that should give me my coordinate. Uh, it says 691250. So 691 and I didn't quite see second one that we used um, so 697249 let's put that value 697249 that to be here set that to 20 So now we're going to be adding gravity. So let's pick the coordinates for gravity and move the cursor on to this line here. This is the coordinate that I want. That's 958 and 250. 958 and 250. So going to paste that here set this to 20 this is the 
color that we want for the hotspot. We're going to enable that and we're going to name this uh, with the game that we just chose. So we're going to call this gravity. And I'm going to add yet another, which is uh, perhaps the last option that we have here, which is core door. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, enable that. Copy your code from here. Paste it here. Core door. Let's pick up the coordinates. Three and two five zero. So one two three and two five zero. Set this to a default uh, hotspot. Sure that we use. And um, let's save that now. So now that um, when I refresh this page, I should see all of my uh, hotspots active uh, under the selective games. Um, so you know. This alignment is something that can be worked on. You know, change that by making minor changes to your X and Y coordinate. So you can always, um, you know, change the alignment of your hotspots. So I'm going to go ahead and um, you know, open one of these games, and there you go. So you can play with um, your computer. Um, so there you go. I won. <laughs> so that is how you add different games that are already preloaded onto the platform framework onto your virtual event for your guests and attendees um, so these are the games that we have and we also have a photo op um, that you can add here so i'm just going to you know add my photo hotspot um, over here so let's choose photo booth from here and let's select our color let's call this photo and we're going to pick up the coordinates here um, let me display it over here so it's three six four and seven four Four. This is set to 20 and I'll save that and it should be reflected on here. So you see that the photo of um, the hashtag is um, the photo of hotspot, I'm sorry, uh, is active again. Uh, here is where you can use your Okay, this is a template that we have designed and um, this is where you can use your photo um, that's how simple it is you just click on take photo it captures your photo from your webcam uh, it puts it onto this frame here and you can just download that so it's as easy and as simple as that so we have completely configured our engagement page as well uh, and that all you need to know to create a fun and interactive engagement zone on your page.